tell you that this is not your choice in this particular well, matter. Because so you have been given an opportunity oh God, to make a very real difference in someone's life. And if choosing instead of that is to lie around you know, the house all day like a dead me. slug, then I will be we're required to step in well, and prove that that is 100% unacceptable. Your non-stop stream of words is making me freak out. And to all these things that you're making are in any way better or more important than the happiness of a girl with cancer. amazing as we said it's winning prizes at sundance it won both the grand jury prize and the audience uh -huh. award which is huge to win both of those it is it's such a it's such a great i hope everybody will go because you will be so heartened if you go see this movie um it is um you know, it's about, it's really about three kids in high school, and um, there is a young girl who we find out is dying of leukemia, but the thing is, the movie is hilariously funny, and it's relatable to everyone, and it's about sort of facing your own demons so that you can kind of do something better for people around you, but it's not at all, it doesn't preach in any way, and, you know, the thing that the audiences at Sundance loved about it is that they were laughing through the whole thing, and then crying hysterically, and then laughing in the next moment, and and it's very unusual and, and difficult to do that well, I think, in a film, and this movie does it beautifully. And the story does, the story does that you accept the part before you even read the script. Well, yes, I, I did, I basically, I love the movie, and that scene you just saw is a great example because that was a one-shot scene literally all the way around this house, and this movie, the director, Alfonso Gomez Rayon is his name, I worked with him on American Horror Story, and I adored him, and I knew on American Horror Story, I'm like, this guy's a genius, and I read in the trades that he was directing a movie, didn't know what the movie was, I wrote him an email, I said, I hear you're doing a movie, I don't know what it is, if there is any part for me in it, please, please, please cast me, please, and, and he did, you know, and my part in the movie um, is, is very small, which is great because I was I had a quick hiatus from Nashville but um, I feel so fortunate because it, it was just it's a wonderful experience and he's a brilliant <laughs> now you're currently shooting a um, mini series American Crime Story the people versus OJ Simpson mm -hmm. and you're playing Faye Resnick who was one of Nicole Brown Simpson's best friends yeah how much pressure is there to play a, per a real person? A lot, it turns out. <laughs> I kind of, you know, because I'm so excited. By the way, this is going to be an amazing project, too. Um, and it's Ryan Murphy who does American Horror Story. So he's, uh, you know, it's going to be really great. It's a great cast. But I, I didn't realize what a sense of responsibility there is playing somebody who's still alive and um, not only who can watch herself and we can all watch her, but you know, she can tweet mean things at me. <laughs> she can, you know, what, I don't, you know, I, I, I hear that she's very nice, so we'll see. So you haven't met her. Do you want to meet her to play this role? Well, I, I, I think I want to meet her after the fact. Okay. I think that might be the best way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go, I have to ask you about Maybe the, the love of her life, Deacon may have died in surgery. What can you tell us? What can you tell me? What happened? Do you know anything? I'm pretty sure Deacon died. No. Are you kidding? Guys, but I think Ethan might pull. Okay, we are. Yeah.